Right, to, to Stephen's yeah. point, we yeah. voted, Frank right. wrote down 800. We voted. To it's on the screen. The votes are on the screen. No, I know, but on the, the Christie's new sheet, it, it says 000. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, 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 zero there, too. Oh. Yeah. No. On the screen, in the middle, on the right. It says zero, zero, zero. On oh, the on screen, right. in the, on the right, in yeah. the middle. See so right here. Over. You'll yeah. see we voted twice. Right. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So it's 8 zero. No, I don't. We, it was five zero three the last time we voted. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it wasn't eight zero. Yeah, eight people here. It was five zero three the last time we voted. Yes. On on this article. We, we voted on January third. No, no, no. Five zero three was for the four firefighters, not to turn up yet. Right. No, no, no. That's what this we're talking about. The safer grant. Right. right. Article, which is Article nineteen, Brian, on the new hey, hand. There we go. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. You said Article eighteen. Okay. Yeah, I that's that's article. Article. I'm sorry. Five zero three. I apologize. It's, it's just never mentioned the fire. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Five. I was talking about eighteen. Right. And they're talking. I know. Right, but they're talking about nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Five zero three mm -hmm. is after right because Mr. Yes. LeBranch, Mr. Jones, yeah. and I abstained. Thank right. you. Yep. Right. Finally, who so wants to revisit that? Mr. Yeah. Zanoy wants to reconsider it. Is there any objections to reconsidering no. the safer grant? Great. Yeah, to me, I think, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, yes okay. please. To me, this, you know, is uh, to me like a bait and switch. Yeah. For three years, we're going to get a discount, but when those three years are over, this the operation budget will be up by a half a million dollars at least with this one stroke. You pay your base pay, your overtime, your benefits, at least easy hundred and a quarter a piece, four guys. This is going to elevate the operations budget easy in the fourth year by almost a half a million dollars, if not more. I, I don't like these grants to come in and take care of you in year one and two right. and three. They make everybody feel warm and fuzzy. But then here comes year four. Hampton is an ongoing concern. It's going to be here a thousand years from now. Forget the first three years. Do we need four firemen now? Because you're going to be paying for them full boat in the fourth year. I'm strongly against this. Okay. Anybody else before we vote again on this one? I just for clarification, Mr. Frank. I, I thought when we discussed this the last <coughs> time, and please, Chairman, tell me I'm wrong or whatever. I thought the reason that they wanted it was because the town is increasing in size, number of people, and the, and the ratio of firemen to cover that. They were looking at doing this, but they're <coughs> utilizing a grant to do this and EMTs as well because right now. If somebody has a heart attack and our EMT squad is out, we have to go to Seabrook. We got to go to Northampton because we have a uh, mutual aid. No, all the firefighters are EMTs. Right. No, no. He said that. He yeah. said that. But I'm saying the ambulance itself. But you know, if everybody's out, whatever. So uh, that's what I thought yeah, that this th thing was. Yeah, Just th for th clarification. This does not purpose. buy another ambulance. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Ms. Bond. Sorry. Yes. Um, actually, I just had a, the fire chief actually talked on this last night at the Hampton Beach Village District, and I will try to reiterate it. I've heard it enough times. This will staff them at 10, and they'll run down to 9, whereas right now they're staffed at 9, and they run down to 8. So they need five people to run an ambulance and a fire engine. We have three ambulances right now. We can only use one because at the beach we staff engine four. And it takes three to staff the truck and two to staff an ambulance. So if we have five, we could easily have an ambulance and a truck both down at the beach and in town, which has been an ongoing concern for as long as we haven't had an ambulance down the beach full time like we used to. And also the increase in calls is not necessarily related to fire, but is, you know, 911 EMT related issues. We have a new nursing home going up down on oh, out on 27. Oh, yeah. yeah. well, that's already built and open. Right. Yeah, it's open. Yes. Yeah. And they're, I know they're down at the ocean side all the time. And, you know, people are more elderly and more things happen. And when they don't know what to do or they don't feel right, they call. So I think, yes, it's going to be a huge increase in the budget. I agree with you, Jerry, that 
we don't want to be deceiving with the grant, but at the same time, if we can take an advantage of a grant for three years, shouldn't we do it? Three years out of a thousand? Well, how long are going to be in business? I'd like to comment on both Frank. But and there's still. Hold on a second. Wait. Are you all set? No, okay. because we have the same amount of fire people on that we have for decades. And we have, I don't know what the number is, but it's like thousand something or two thousand something square feet. I don't know, Fred, do you know he always talks about it? What do you mean the. Uh, the, the development. The added development that we've had. These buildings, even though they oh, were fireproof. The 1.1 million square feet? Yes. It takes Most five. Most of which it are takes, high rises under spray yeah, it takes Sometimes it oh. takes 10 people to get up to the top of these buildings with the, you know, to put a fire out or if they have to go into the hallways <coughs> and they got to run up with hoses or they got to run up and find people. The fire chief is the <coughs> one that you know, has explained this, and I think he's explained it at the budget committee, and if you want to watch it again, he did it at the village district last night, and I think that this is investment in the town that we haven't done so well, and I think that we need to do it for our fire department. Well, you know, uh, he did speak about the 1.1 million, and uh, he did acknowledge in a discussion, I believe, that the high-rises are, since they're under sprinkler system, are not uh, an added uh, risk factor. Uh, in terms For of fire. fires. In terms of fire, yeah. Yes. yeah. But you still need somebody to But remember. also, Frank, I'm sure you remember, uh, Mr. LeBranch made a point about the um, existing firefighters, uh, some of which no doubt have a economic need to continue their overtime, which they may not be able to do if there are more firefighters being staffed. Right? And I personally am also not convinced uh, that, 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 the, that we need the additional manpower, uh, that you know, something disastrous is going to happen if we don't add the manpower. I mean, why didn't we add this manpower last year? Well, we didn't need it last year. Why do we suddenly need it this year? Well, coincidental that a grant shows up. Uh, it's just coincidental, I'm told. Well. It's qu coincidental that I don't see the need as well. So, um, I, I won't. I will be changing my abstention on this vote to a to a nay, Mr. Zanoy. Yeah, we got fifteen thousand people in the town. In the last two censuses, we're not growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're turning into a paramedic service, as opposed to a fire department. Right. Going out of the business world, why not offload it? Offload it into a commercial ambulance <laughs> setup. Check that out, Jerry. I'll give you two months. Okay. Cape, the, the company was building cables and harnesses. Jerry, find six suppliers. I'll give you a year. He'll do it too. Okay. Let's stay on the water. So, I'm, I'm not. I, we always think about adding. We always think about plow, just plowing money out there. Let's give you two of these and three of these and two trucks. And I need the four guys over here. And more policemen for the schools and so on. You would have to bring that. All of that's going up, driving us up. I'll be paying ten thousand a year, very shortly in my house, very shortly. Thank you, Jerry. That's what, I'm not finished yet. Oh no, I meant thank you for the tax payment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the same thing. Right. So, I don't know about these paramedic runs. Yeah. I don't know how many calls <coughs> they're making. I don't know for what reasons, but I do know this. Periodically, he shows up at the Board of Selectmen and he says, I got these bad debts on my account here. I'd like to have you absolve them as Selectmen. I'm carrying them for two or three years now. Other boards never took care of it the right way. How much is it? 300000 200000 These people never paid the bills. But we absorb the cost as taxpayers. Okay? That happens about every two or three years. I was on the board when that happened either once or twice. And I've heard him come in subsequent to that when I haven't been on the board. It's a cost of doing business that's hidden. Have they asked you to absolve that debt yet? They're going to be shortly. <laughs> I can't handle these. I'm carrying it on the books. I don't know how many books on he's carrying. It's probably his revolving account. Because these are bills that aren't being paid. He's chased them down and he can't get anybody to respond and phone calls. So, you know. I don't know about this ambulance service. I like it, we get excellent service. Excellent, top notch, A plus. I've used them myself. I broke my arm at the beach on these rocks down there. You didn't walk on the wall, did you? <laughs> uh, 
The wall's another story. <laughs> so, uh, and my Did wife. You build that wall? <laughs> so, so I'm not. I'm not really to just plus four firemen last year. To this year, plus four firemen. We got a grant. The first three years, <laughs> look at this. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you this, and we're going to give you that. The fourth year, you get full boat. <laughs> Operations budget up a half a million. No, I, I, I've got to hear more. And besides, maybe this is a thing that should be talked about in the master plan. Who are we? What are we? What do we want to develop into? Do we want to develop into a purely a paramedic? We're not going to have big fires in this town, except if the beach goes up, then we'll have to get mutual aid in a hurry, especially if the wind is blowing north-south. But you know, who are we? What are we? What do we want to be? Maybe there's a, there's a good reason for a master plan. I think there is a good reason for it. Well, a different topic. Yeah. That's another topic. And, 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 uh, not here. You haven't got the grant yet, Jerry. <laughs> so that's my feelings on the article, on that article dealing with these athletes. Mr. LeBranch. You just said something that made me remember last night. I asked the both chiefs that they were at the village district meeting whether the federal government's shutdown is affecting them in any way. And this very thing, the fire chief said, oh, yes. Yeah. The, the police chief said not yet. They're not feeling it yet, even though agencies that they work with, police department, um, FBI and other, you know, Secret Service, and I think he named one other one. But the fire department said, yes, they are. And specifically, this, this grant, because Right, because they were discussing it, but they're not discussing it now, and right? FEMA is part, the people that work at FEMA, I think it's related to, yeah. So yeah, so that's, yeah. it's not, it's going to be pushed off down the, who, months away. It was months, months. Well, don't say, though, they don't get the grant, they don't do it. Right, right? Yeah. Oh. exactly. So what you're saying is it may not be there anyway, so this is an opportunity for the Board of Selectmen to reduce the warrant article, right? Okay. I'm just telling you what he just Mr. Wolverine. Well, let, let, I'm going to go here. I'm going to point to both here. Great comments. And, and I have to say, Jerry is right on about the grant thing. And it was funny, Stephen. I was going to bring it up, too. You know, I asked, and for Jerry's benefit, I asked the chief what his major needs, and you all heard me ask him, and we all pushed for the turnout gear because that's going to work. He needed that. Why don't we have a discussion? You're absolutely on the right page, the same page as I am. And by the way, for the viewers at home, my nephew's a firefighter in Manchester. My whole family's a cops, police, and teachers, so everybody needs to know that up front. And you know, I take this very seriously. However, the bottom line is, I said to the chief, one thing at a time, and if we need to have additional resources, have a, dis a year-long discussion with a cost analysis. Yeah. And, it, and Stephen brought up a good point. Are we going to save, in the last meeting, are we going to save money in overtime? That, he couldn't even answer. He couldn't even tell us what the 2017 overtime was. <coughs> I, I think there's a lot of other issues here. Um, one of the selectmen, not Regina, said something about, well, we have, we, we want four and we're going to put four more. And I'm like, I, I just think we got to take a step back and, and understand that I asked a question about the majority, what they do, and there's no question the, the uh, paramedics, we got the best. That's what they do all across the state. You're, you've got to do that to be trained. But I don't buy the argument that if our population goes 15,000 to 20, uh, you know, to Dave Morris analysis, Libby Mutual, that means we add 10 more, and then two years later we add 20 more. I think we need, we've, at, we've done enough for the fire department this year, and, and I appreciate what they do. I appreciate we're going to give them that turnout here, which is $200,000, and I'm going to be a big, big supporter of that. That's safety. But just to throw out and say, well, it's Grant, Jerry's point, I'm against the grant, especially I recommended that they put it out in a, in a straight warrant article. If the voters really want four new firefighters with full benefits, do the cost and let the voters decide. Let's not play this game. If they get the grant money, if they do, we're stuck with the whole thing and there's no say. So I'm not changing. I, I, the reason I abstain, and I'm probably still going to abstain, is because this is a very... I think there needs to be more discussion on this, you know, whether it's needed or not. And it may be, but I think it's not the time this year. So suffice it to say that you're firmly on the fence? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. no, no, wait a minute. We didn't use that the last time. Mr. LeBranch, you and I said, what was your terminology you said? <laughs> no, no, but I, might, I have a recorded vote for that, remember? Because I said it's, it's, it's a tough uh, thing, but I want to talk about it more. I don't want to say I'm totally against it in the future. But yes, so I'm all set. 
<laughs> Thank you, Mr. Walbert. And just to note, the article will be null and void if the federal funding is not approved. Well, we received, understand so. that. Yeah. I just uh, don't that, like that. That is in there. The just, just for full disclosure, in case someone might be confused yeah. on that point. Uh, anybody else wish to speak to this uh, article, which you may or may not want to vote on? Uh, or recommend, I mean? Okay, let us uh, do it. Uh, who is making the motion to recommend? Mr. Frank is making the motion right now. Who is seconding? Ms. Barnes. Uh, two reps are making the motion. Okay. All those in favor of recommending this Warren article, please raise your hand. That would be Ms. Barnes and Mr. Frank. All those opposed to recommending this, please raise your hand. Mr. Zanoy, Mr. Mora, Mr. Clough, and Jones. That's four. And Warburton is from on the fence. Well, no, you're... Are you standing? No, Steve and I are. Well, I wasn't suggesting you were alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so it was 242, is that right, Stephen? Yes, 242. Two. Yeah, because I think that it's too much involved with that article just to shut it off. But anyway, two, I. 242. 